Just let it roll for me. <laughs> no. We don't play no lines, we don't play no lines. The VIP is mine, VIP is mine. We gon' run it up, we gon' run it yeah. up. We gon' run it up, we gon' run it up. No matter the club, we yeah, you know that we gettin' it in the unit, we with that shit. Huh. Now make it clap for a nigga. Rest in peace, pop smoke. Now throw it back for a nigga. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I be on my Philly shit, hoodie shit, long clip Dare nigga come close, guarantee, let it rip Money sitting up straight, all we do is king shit 50 bottles of champagne, my nigga own the shit We don't play no lines, we don't play no lines The VIP is mine, VIP is mine We gon' run it up, we gon' run it up We gon' run it up, we gon' run it up We don't play no lines, we don't play no lines The VIP is mine, VIP is mine we gon' run it up, we gon' run it up we might run it up, we gon' run it up Cake slap, cake slap Oh, we walk up in the spot like we paying the rent Bitches trying to figure out how much money we spent This money I'm spending got bitches calling me handsome We ain't drinking handy tonight, we sippin' on brand sip When we in the club, these niggas be nervous They know we and they know security is served You're now tuned into me, 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 me Million dollars worth of game on Wallow 267 Right here is Gilly the Nut and the One the only, the luxurious, the glorious, the crazy than a motherfucker. Don't call me white girl, but she looked like a white girl, so I call her white girl. Mm, okay. Don't you know call me saying? white yeah, girl. Absolutely. Before we get started, I just want to say, uh, before we get into anything, I just want to say, uh, your ass was on time today, huh? I was early. Mm. Song of the week, Mike Knox, <laughs> Run It Up, mm. featuring, that's the remix, Uncle Murder. Keep doing your thing, Mikey. We see you, baby. Mm, you was on time today, huh? I was early. Mm. Okay. You happy to see me? Yeah, but you know I had to grind your ass up to make you understand what's how it was. How now you know happy this. to you know see me. I'm happy to see you. All right. Now you know I be early. No, no, don't act like you I ain't gonna put you. I was, I was here before you. Uh, about time. Now, no, listen, no, no. you ain't nobody here. Before. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for oh, me. I got my yeah. fucking job back. <laughs> Fuck y'all. That's you thought it was over. You want to say anything bitch. to anybody that was talking shit? I want y'all to kiss my ass. You thought it was over. I'm Is right back. Is they kissing back. it regular or do they got their tongue out? With your tongue out, bitch. Ooh. Kiss my ass with your tongue out, bitch. <laughs> hey, let's get to our first sponsor, New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka is a superb taste, unparalleled smoothness. It's 80 proof. Vodka made from some of the finest quality grains in America's heartland. It's, dis it's distilled five times, filtered three times with a slightly sweet palate. It's, it's slightly sweet on the palate. In New Amsterdam vodka, you could drink with anything. You could drink with soda. You could drink with juice. You could drink it straight up. Or you can make a New Amsterdam mule. You know what I mean? And the New Amsterdam mules are pretty good. But you, we got a bunch of it at the crib. A bunch of it, you see, because we're sponsored by New Amsterdam Vodka. So sometimes I call Toot the NAQ, New Amsterdam Queen, because she all she does is make cocktails with it. And, and she, you know, she gets a little, you know, she gets her buzz on. And then sometimes she actually falls asleep without giving me none. So, you know, I'd be a little salty sometimes. But give it up to the NAQ, the New Amsterdam Queen. Yeah, Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you and presented by Barstool Sports. I just want to say this. New Amsterdam Vodka is the official vodka for Barstool Sports. Let's get, let's get busy, man. Let's get into let's it. Let's get busy. Let's get into it. Let, I, see, I was online the other day, right? Talking to DJ Boo, and we was on live. And anybody that don't know who DJ Boo is, he's a, he's a prominent DJ from Philadelphia who... Is also a promoter, and you know, he got a, has a lot of things going on in the club scene. And we was on live, and it was no, a lot. No, DJ Boo, but growing up, he was a uh, he was a, a basement DJ. Yeah, he was a basement DJ. He was a basement warrior. He lived in the basement, and he DJ basement parties. That's what made him just like basement basement boo. But that blew him up, though. That blew him up, basement boo. Basement boo. The, yeah, the basement DJ warrior. You know I mean, but we was on live, and we was having a heated debate about what snitching is and and i said so in order to be considered a snitch or a rat you would have to be subscribed to the street life 
Hold up, hold up. Or, or you would have to okay. indulge in some type of illegal activity. Even if it's not in the streets, you would have to indulge in some type of illegal activity to to be called a snitch, a rat. They didn't agree with me on that. So I said, so, okay, so if your grandmother, who's never been in the streets, she, she's been in the church her whole life, seen a crime going down in front of her, and then called the cops and said, okay, the man had a red shirt on, and he shot this guy right here, and he jumped into a black Honda and pulled off. Is your grandmother a rat? Is your grandmother a snitch? And for the most part, the people that was on the live said, yes. And I was like, when did the rules in the streets change up? Because your grandmother confused. is a civilian. Hold on, hold on, people hold on. got that confused a hold long on. time ago. Hold on, let me, break, let me just say something. Take my glasses off. So it's from a me. cop perspective or wow. No, no, yeah, no. no perspective. Is this from, Officer this John Tackle talking no. or is this Wallow 267? So glasses are off. We need to know. Is this Wallow 267 that did 20 years or is this Officer Jonathan Tackle? No, this Tackle? is not JT right now. Oh, okay, I cool. want to say something. I want y'all to look me in the eyes, right? I don't really speak on the snitching shit because some people just want to say something to say something and they never even really operate in the street culture. Me personally, I did five years in the juvenile system, in and out. First went to jail when I was 11 years old. Uh, did 20 years in the penitentiary. I always was getting locked up. Now let me just break some shit down. You don't, if you're in a street game, you do not get a fucking reward for not telling. That's a package deal. That come with the fine print when you jumped into the street game. Mm -hmm. So stop talking about, oh, I'm a real nigga. I did time. I stand up. And you supposed to stand up. A dad don't get fucking praise for being a dad. Okay. That's number one. Talk heavy. Number two. Yeah, shit. Everybody keep telling me I'm a real nigga, I stand, I'm this, that, and third. A lot of you niggas, you never been in the position to tell exactly. where it was like, you could tell or you could get 20 years, you could tell or you get 10 years. So stop talking about what you won't fucking do if you never been put out of them circumstances. That's it. Everybody, I, this shit just be blowing my mind because I don't be saying too much about the shit. And I just did a gang of time, been in jail, been in the system. I've been in the system or inside of institutions longer than I've been free in, in the history of my life. Wow. But everybody always got something to say on these fucking, these, the, the, it's either a rapper or it's either a quote unquote street nigga. Everybody keep talking about ratting and ratting and ratting and ratting and ratting, who ratting, who ain't ratting. First, it was two, that, that's number one. If you've never been put in a situation, don't talk about you wouldn't rat or you built like that. And you've never been put in a situation where you got a, a lot, and then you got a lot of dudes. Nobody has ever told on me. Let me just break that down. No one has ever told on me. I did 25 years of incarceration altogether. No one has ever told on me. Wallow267, a.k.a. Wallace Peoples. Because when I committed my crime, I, would, you know, I was going up in establishments doing what I was doing. Them people that work for them establishments, they didn't rat on me. They didn't tell on me. They were civilians. They did what the fuck they were supposed to do. I went in there to do some, some dumb shit. And they came on behalf of the, the business that they was working on. They wasn't a part of the street cursey, we, street, uh, street uh, culture. culture. We didn't have a pact that we was going to do some illegal shit together. I never been told on. I never been told on. So everybody keep talking about snitch. You be hearing people in the workplace, oh, you a snitch. Hold up. Back the fuck up. Unless you're ready to take everything that come with the street culture, mm -hmm. stop taking on the lingo and the mindset of the street culture. Mm -hmm. See, because you got two type of motherfuckers out here. Just because you live around the way don't mean you got to take on that, on that street culture mentality. Right. You working nine to five. That's you're right. not doing nothing illegal. So motherfuckers got to stop talking about that. Everybody, snitch, 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 snitch. And let me tell you something. This is why I don't even talk on that. I was in a penitentiary for 20 years. I read over 150 motherfucking statements. From people just saying, damn, wow, you know the boy from such and such, he told on me. I'm like, damn, yeah. You got motherfuckers in the mountains all across America in these penitentiaries. And some of the dudes that you look up to, that you think is this, that, and the mm -hmm. third, they're told on the motherfucker. But you don't know because they're from a different part of the city or a different section. Or they was a little motherfucker and nobody mm -hmm. know. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But stop saying that you a real nigga and you won't tell. Oh, I ain't going to tell. I never snitch on a nigga. You never been put in a position to snitch on a nigga. Right. And when, and when the thoughts come up to you, oh, do I snitch and just give them this information? Or do I go to jail, do this time, don't have nobody rolling out with me, uh, boo-boo fucking my baby mom. A lot of you dudes tell me y'all won't tell. Y'all would tell in a fucking heartbeat as soon as y'all think about baby leg piping your motherfucking baby mom down. Talk heavy. A lot of you dudes would tell about these women. Talk heavy. Y'all ain't leaving these asses out here. About Talk that heavy. coochie. About that coochie. You know how many niggas ain't told about the coochie? That's a fact. The coochie, listen, that, that, coochie, so, coochie, so, coochie. so what I'm saying is, 
Won't people just get the fuck away from that? Everybody just everybody got something to say about, mm -hmm. and, and nobody never been put to the test. Mm -hmm. But everybody got something big to say. Oh, I ain't going. Nick, I don't give a fuck if you went to jail before. Mm -hmm. You you went to jail by yourself. You got arrested by yourself. You didn't have nobody to tell them. Mm -hmm. So right. stop saying, oh, you didn't know nothing about something that went around the neighborhood. We as though you can say, oh, excuse me, officer, I got a story to tell. Mm -hmm. You remember that? You. you remember that <laughs> shooting that happened this damn third? That's how a lot of statements I read went. But and then another thing. I come from a time where, though, you don't say nothing to no motherfucking rat if you ain't, and I don't promote no violence, but you don't say nothing to him because one thing about a rat, a lot of these dudes still were street niggas and they was gangsters. I seen dudes get stabbed to motherfucking arm get tied in the penitentiary because he called the motherfucker rat that was a rat, but he wasn't ready to move out. So what the fuck is you like? Right. That's like that's like some type of form of people trying. Shut the fuck up, man. Live your life, do your thing, man. And let, and let me speak on this. Like, God right? damn, man, let me speak on this, right? Never in the history of ratting have a nigga that was running around in the pack said, when I get locked up, I'm a rat. No, they all say, no, I'm going to stand tall like City Hall. <laughs> when the police come, I'm standing up like the national anthem. Oh, say, can you? I ain't going to never tell <laughs> until they get in there. And then they like, uh. Yeah, we going to uh, offer you, uh, you 20 to 40. Mm -hmm. Some of you niggas only take a three to six. Some of you niggas only need a one and a half to three. So they run around with all these fucking slogans because they ain't never put, been put to the test. They never been put to the test. Soon as they get put to the test, guess what they do? Fold. They fail that motherfucker. With flying colors. They don't pass the test. They don't get all A's. They don't get straight A's. No, them niggas get all F's. Soon as they get put to the test. Do you want to do this, this this 20 right here? Or do you want to go home and fuck your woman for 20 minutes? You want to do 20 years or you want to go back home and fuck your woman for 20 minutes? Because that's, that's most of, that's the longest most of you niggas last. You know? <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I get, nice two least, the 20. I get two to least nice 40, the 45. Five I sweat. Minutes. Drop a sweat all in the Bless eyes. But that's some whole other shit though. But as soon as y'all get put to the test, y'all telling. So all that, you and your whole crew together, we all stand tall. We stand tall like shit at all. All that old goofy ass shit. You, you, you can't believe none of that, young boy. Hold up. I, I, I remember I was talking to young boy. It was like seven of them on, on the set, right? I'm talking to him. They tell me, to, yeah, wow, because we real. We bought that. I said, how many of y'all got locked up before? Oh, none of us. None of you niggas even been put to the test. Y'all, you know, you got, the, you got the motherfucking pistol on you and all that. You talking about you, you, no, none of y'all been put to the test because 95% of you niggas going to be crying. You, oh, mom, oh, mom, oh, mom. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to say this. A lot of you young motherfuckers out there, y'all lucky as shit that Jacqueline motherfucking peoples was in your mind. Because I'm going to tell you how the game went. As soon as a motherfucker told me something, oh yeah, call him for you. <laughs> Click. Yeah, mom, what's going on? Oh, no, they got me down the county, this and that, third. All right, I'll see you, baby. Oh, when, when you coming home? Oh, I got a, uh, a year a bit. All right, I'll see you then. Click. So I remember one time, I said, uh, I said, uh, I called my grandma. I said, Nanny, yeah, my mom I on it. She said, no, no, your mom said, y'all know everybody. Y'all cool. Y'all be all right in there. You motherfucker. All that crying. Oh, I'm going to, my baby ain't never hurt nobody. My mom ain't do none of that dumb shit. Mm -hmm. My mom ain't never say none of that because mm -hmm. she knew I was a wild dickhead out there. Mm -hmm. I was out there doing dumb shit. But the problem yeah, he is. was under the no, DHA, no, the I, dickhead act. I got to say something to all these. <laughs> I got to say something to a lot of these women out here. A lot of you moms in the ghettos of America, y'all fucking enablers. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all. Y'all the reasons that they keep doing that dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Cause as soon as they do some dumb shit, you know what you do? You try to, oh no, my baby, this and that third. Stop that dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Stop enabling your son to be a fucking dickhead. Mm -hmm. As soon as he come back, you crying, oh, I gotta go bail him out of jail, this and the third. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Stop mm -hmm. doing that shit. When you said indulge in street life, right? Mm -hmm. I take that for, if you have a man for the women, you dating a guy and he sells drugs, he pays all the bills and y'all living off this drug money and you know that, Right? Mm -hmm. To me, you can't utilize police. Like, if civilians, the police are for the civilians, you need help, you call cops. When you're in the street, you are your own police or whoever mm -hmm. you're going to call. Mm -hmm. So when you're a woman and you choose that lifestyle, you know what I mean, to be passenger in the bins, to me, 
you taking an oath with him. So I don't feel like you could tell them either because that's indulging in my opinion. Okay, and let me say this. Yeah. Let me break down what's a snitch. If you in the streets and you go to www.streetnigga.com and you subscribe, you push that button, no, they got an app. That's what app is. No, that? hypothetically speaking, <laughs> oh. dickhead. You under the dickhead app. D H A. No, I was already saying, right. man. And you subscribe to the He's streets. Still fresh out. And then you get locked up, and you tell, that's a snitch. Yeah. If you're a part of a a a a, a company, and y'all stealing out the company, yeah, that's not street shit. But you still are involved in illegal shit because Bruce said, what about motherfucker snitched on Martha Stewart? Yeah, because the motherfucker probably was, was involved. That whistle, was that whistleblowing? Is that called whistleblowing? Like, it's the same thing, right? I don't know. I never heard I that. I don't know. I'm whistleblowing, whistleblowing, that sounds like some some freak shit. <laughs> Listen, it, and like like somebody on the live was like, what about Martha Stewart? Somebody snitched on Martha Stewart? Yeah, because nine times out of 10, the person that snitched on Martha Stewart was slightly involved right, was with the illegal too. shit that Martha Stewart was doing. How no, you know, she what? Know, you know what I realized? What so so she hold on, so it. hold on. So if, if, if you got a company and they, they stealing money out the back door and then they get caught and a motherfucker say, well, yeah, we took X and Y and Z. Yeah, that's not part of the street life. But they still was doing illegal shit. That's a snitch. A motherfucker that go to work every day, never been involved in the streets in their life, that's a fucking civilian. Don't ever get that fucked up. Because if everybody took on a, the, the mindset of a street nigga or somebody that's doing something illegal, we wouldn't need cops out this bitch. Well, let me ask because you. civilians, when something goes down, they call the cops. Yeah, sidewalk people. That's what they do. They call, oh my God, I'm out here, I'm on 30 Market, I just seen a guy, he shot this guy, oh my God, I need to, he's dying, you need to get here. That's a civilian. Because the cops work for you. Right. So, for all you goofy motherfuckers that was on my live, <laughs> that was talking about, well, if your grandma tell, your grandma a rat. No. Y'all some super goofy ass niggas, man. Unless your grandma sell I, weed. I'm gonna, right, if your grandma, yeah, you know, if your grandma's selling, well, then your grandma's in the game. Your grandma's a but I will say sales. this though. I will say this. Shout out Roof. to the my alumni of Penn State. You can say that we smarter than most motherfuckers that went to college. Cabrini, this asshole <laughs> didn't know what whistleblower was, but you went to fucking Cabrini. I got you a question try to knock for my both of y'all. Because let me just tell you something. You, okay. fucking nut. Oh, let me just tell you something. How you, you didn't know in, what whistleblower? Uh, okay, oh my, I, went to, I went to fucking Penn State. Okay, let me just you tell you something. You went to fucking Cabrini. Let me just tell you something. Bullshit ass. If you was in the state pen. And y'all was running around talking about whistleblowing. You go, yeah, I get. Somebody was you getting your whistle, whistle blown? Oh no, no, in the, no, I, didn't in the, in I didn't say that. I have a I'm question. Wait, hold on, was Ricky Minaj blowing your whistle? No, I'm talking about education. Or was it Beyonce? I'm talking about education. Or was it Kevin no, the Stallion? No, 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 you, you Which one of them niggas was blowing your whistle? I'm talking about education. You was in there, blow the whistle. I have a question, whistle, guys. You little kinky ass. Murphy. When I now blow say I'm in the street, right? And I get saved and sanctified, right? It goes on and, and on. I want to get out the street. How long Ricky would it take? My, shut your dumb ass Ricky up. Ricky and myself come get this John. Shut your dumb ass up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I must have superpowers. <laughs> Ricky going to suck the dick about an hour. Come on, go ahead. <laughs> Blow the whistle. I'm starting to think this nigga was a dancer. No, 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 no. He was a freak boy. No, no. He would have been gay. First of all, they used to call him dancing. He would have got machine. some ass in jail. They used to call him. You would have got some Sometimes ass. Sometimes it feels like we're in the playground. Oh, you would have got some ass. Because you're too spicy. You would have got some ass. I'm just You'd saying. Like, Cuz, I'll be back. Where you you, you was in I'm, the state playground, but you don't know what blowing the whistle is? He would have been working out on somebody's cell. What? He would have been in somebody's cell. Serious no, question. Go ahead, shut up. You see it a lot of times. People be in the street. They run, especially the young guys. They run and they gun and they super tough. Then they get shot, which is fucking scary. And they almost die or whatever. And then they might tell. But. If you decide to, you want to change your life, you want to, you know, you you get a baby or whatever. How long do you think it takes for you to be on the sidewalk before you really can call the police and be a regular person? A year, six months? Like when do you jump over like that? No, I think if you was ever in the game, you you you, you mind for your business. life. If I fucking for life, motherfucker. No, because you at one time you subscribe to the street rules. You can't subscribe to the street rules, sell a million bricks, and then be like, no, I live the regular life now. I'm a construction worker. No, no, nigga, you know the rules. What are you talking about? So you oh, can't so you call go the from, police if your car was stolen off of your cul-de-sac? Oh, that's something different. Cold -sack? That's something different. You, you but you the, still can't but, snitch. Listen, if 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 your car was stolen, you got to call the police so you can get your insurance. Get a report. 
So at the end of the day, that's something totally different. But you cannot be out here selling selling dog food for ten years and then you that don't. Went over and, a lot of and, 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 no, I ain't saying in the Petco they sell fucking dog food. How you gonna say if somebody if that's somebody hustle on the side, no, you know they selling fucking about. dog food. See, see, see how you don't know what dog food is. No, I'm just saying if they selling dog. How you don't know the street? Right now, something hustle. happened to Walla. Walla's calling the police. Yes, he's a rat. He's definitely a snitch. No, he's out of the street. He's a whoa, fucking whoa, whoa, motivational whoa, whoa, speaker. Whoa, 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 the fuck up! If somebody smacked them glasses off, you gonna call the cops? No, he is the cop. No, if somebody fuck fucking smacked these glasses off. They getting tackled. Oh, and I'm gonna fucking apprehend them for my personal use. So are you gonna do no, like no, a no, I don't have to so get citizens arrest? So wait, wait. So you gonna tackle them and didn't do what? No, I said I'm gonna apprehend them. No, you said I'm gonna tackle them and apprehend them for my personal from use. From behind. What, what's your for personal? For my personal use. That's what's exactly your personal what you just use? said. For your personal That's, use. I'm gonna beat them down. Let's know that. Redo that and put a pause on it. That's not a pause. It was weird. That was not pause. You're supposed to hold them till hey, the cops get there. I'm not holding them for them. Not for your fucking he is the cops. We gotta hold about. them for them. For. Hey, let's get into this, right? Just, just quick, just quick, real quick. I just wanted, this was something I was thinking about. What's the first thing we doing as soon as the world opens all the way back up? I'm going to have a show. Cannot wait. I really miss the stage and the microphone. Okay. I'm probably going to take a vacation with my family. That's, You've been in the fucking house with them for yeah, months. But uh, that's why we need to get out. Like with a son. It's a big hey, dog. Oh, I'm getting my shit. feet done up, baby. On, dog. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody out there. Oh, you know what I mean? Your dog. Shit. Oh, my goodness. My dog. Hey, dog this this shit just away, got man. crazy. I'm getting my feet done. No, Listen, man. I'm going to just say this. Them joints smell like Taco Tuesday, bro. I've been looking bro. for like Dust all that crust off your yeah. dog. I've been looking for an underground. I've been looking for an underground. What the fuck just happened? Nell, uh, Nellery. Smell like spicy, spicy burrito corn shit. I got somebody that could give you a. That pinky toe is going to fuck with April's calves. You need to shave that shit down. No, my feet usually be cool. It's just that. Your pinky toe is sharp like a Wolverine. God Put your damn! Socks on, bro. You, you like a lit pelican. This whole up, man. Like Them this. shits ain't right. You don't lit this whole pup up, dog. Come on, man. And they crusty. Yo, hit me that. Somebody, where the lights all that, man. Somebody got to do my feet. Breaks, man. Yeah, you got to do my feet. Four hundred videos in them Yeezys, and man. And ran in every video. Not these ones. They the other ones. And it's just like that. Some joints. See, you that was some wild shit. I'm going to get my listen. Yeah. I'm going to get my feet that was done. Some wild I'm getting a two hour. Shit, I'm yeah, getting a two hour right. two hour yeah. body rub. Leave your feet for your OnlyFans. The whole twi- right, man. Start an OnlyFans page for your feet. Niggas man. will pay big bread for them feet for them pups. I look like Tavon oh, you, 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 you would pay money to see this niggas feet. I said niggas would pay big Damn, bread to see Wallow would, pups. Huh? Who cares about the viewers? It's all about subscription, guys. Okay. And my OnlyFans is coming. Keep waiting. She's trying to pimp me on OnlyFans. White girl trying to pimp me on OnlyFans. We can get this bread together. Hey, let's say, let's talk about embracing your individualism and who you are as a person, because. So many people out here don't know who they are as a person. Wallow didn't know who he was until he did twenty years. <laughs> but you before know what we I get mean? today, let's go into our another another sponsor. Okay, let's get into our uh, let's get into another sponsor. Our second sponsor is, is who? Express VPN. Yes. Right. Express VPN. Being stuck in the house these days, you probably don't think much about the internet privacy on your own home network. You flip into incognito mode. Your browser no, thinks that no one can see what you're doing. Right? Wrong. Even in, co- in, in, even in incognito mode, your online activity still can be traced. Even if you clear your browsing history, your internet service provider s- can still see everything that you brought up on your website. Mm. ExpressVPN makes sure your ISP, your internet service provider, can't see what sites you visit. Instead, your internet connection is rerouted through ExpressVPN secure servers. Each ExpressVPN server has an IP address that shares among thousands of users. That means everything that you do cannot be traced back to you. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your data with the best in-class encryptions. So your information is always protected. Always. So nobody ever knows what you go when, when you go on your laptop or you go on any type of device you got, nobody can never know what websites you go to. So you got to protect your information, man. That's very big out here. ExpressVPN is the fastest and most trusted VPN on the market. It's rated number one by CNET, Wire, and The Verge, and countless more. So protect your online activity today with ExpressVPN and trust that it will secure your privacy. Visit my special link at expressvpn.com backslash millions you can get an extra three months for free 
ExpressVPN backslash millions. And go on there to learn more about ExpressVPN and protect your privacy, man. That's that's very big, man. You don't want people to be able to, to, to know what you got going on. You know, we got ExpressVPN too. It had to really break it down to me how it worked. And I was kind of nervous, like, why you don't want me to know what sites you're visiting? No, it was for you. <laughs> you be, you know what you be looking at. You know, why you, what toot, you be on Pornhub or something? Of course. Yeah, watching Big Black Sausages, huh? No, it's Big Bad Cox, BBC. Oh, Big Bad Cox. BBC. How you be watching you, them? You, how, how, how you know? I watch a lot of porn. And Women you love porn. Who's your, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Uh, uh, I used to like uh, Marcus with the boots. Because he wore Tim's. He fuck dude, you in the butters. Yo, if he gave dude, me Philly. If a dude fuck you with Tim's on, is it better than a dude fucking you with some sneaks on? If it, uh, Nobody's fucking me with boots on while long. But you said he used to you fuck. You look like the type let a nigga fuck you with boots on and no socks. Sweet feet sweating like a motherfucker. You look like the type that wear your boots with no socks. Yeah. No, no, no. First, but of, first, but of, all, first of 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 all, I wear my socks when I when I slam dance. <laughs> you don't take your socks off when you fucking? No. You was ass naked when you was back. You were so fucking sassy. It's annoying. Back in the day. You was ass naked. If it was a definition you know, North Philly nigga, he'd be right under the definition of a North Philly nigga. Absolutely. North Philly niggas don't take their socks off. For sure. You know. It's gross. I mean, North Philly nigga slam dance you with some I ankles feel. on. Now listen. They had the ankles they on. They took their socks off. I made them. This is the, the twist though. If a dude, if you just, if you just fucking with a slider, right? Mm. You know, a party for the night type chick. Could you get butt naked or you can't? I've never had a one night stand while I'm. You fucked. I'm just, all right, I'm you just saying. somebody baked your biscuits in listen, one listen, night. I have never had I a one night stand. Pull out a okay. fucking lie okay. detector test. Did you have a two night stand? No, I've never had. I said three, so. I told you the other episode night. I want to try that. A three night stand. No. You never have you ever fucked a nigga in a week? Don't lie. White. I fucked a nigga in two weeks. We was together for two years. What's up? The, What's up? It's coochie good. But let me ask you a question though. That's not what I asked you. I asked you if listen, if we stayed together. No, but listen, did you smoke a black cool, did you smoke a black and mild after you fucked? I her? love a cool, crisp listen, black and mild in the wood morning. Wood tip a wood tip a only plastic, baby. Oh, okay. This Shout whole, out to black and mild. This baby. the whole twist though. If if a dude get with you, right, say, mm -hmm. and he get ass naked, do you, and, and it's just a jump off situation. It's is a he, little weird. Is he wrong for your ass naked? I mean, it's a little strange. Unless he really kicking ass. If you bust ass, you could do really whatever the fuck you want. But could you? But you pulled this. Keep if your you lay the dick right, you could eat all the fruit snacks. That's for you, Bernard. <laughs> Who the fuck is Bernard? That's Listen. a that's an old school ass name. You fucking that's an old. She got an old head. She got a fucking old head. She just she got a that's up. That's for you, Bernard. <laughs> Bernard Washington. I promise you, I would tell you. I promise I would say your nigga name. Nigga sixty three with the bag. That's for you, Bernard Washington. Yo, 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 you hurt. I haven't seen him the whole quarantine. She said, I promise I'll say your name, Daddy. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Please. Uh, damn. So he home, bitch. You ain't, you ain't shot about, me out on me and I was in the game. Yeah, I, I got you, Bernard. I want to talk about embracing your individuality. I really have something that's individualism. Okay, let's go. Right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I have say something this. something to say about this. I'm gonna let you lead. Thank you. I was always considered a weirdo. I was always loud. I had a lot of like just a lot to me. People would say I was annoying. People would say I'm the same person. You are annoying. And I'm selling it. I am a bit annoying, but you are. I'm selling it. I'm fucking selling it. Be yourself. It's only one you. You gotta be yourself. And people used to say I was this and that. Now bitches talking like me. See? How they talking like you? Stay down. Like some of the, the phrases I say, I hear other people say, even across the country, I hear people like, talking like me. Because like, we the king of the phrases. Everybody say our phrases. You nut ass nigga. You super goofy ass nigga. Y'all own nut ass huh? nigga? Are we yeah, going to do that? Yes, we do. You sold nut ass nigga to America, but you got that no, no. from where you're from. No, 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 well, no, where no, where no, that come no, from? That's no. the North Philly saying. We're no, not no, going to no. do and that. I, first of all, I, I created it. Well, that, I created this kid greater later I was the first motherfucker and... And, and, you ain't, and, your nut ass ain't created. This yes, nigga did. didn't create nut ass nigga. In 92, in 92, you fucking when, when we was in Nanny Basement, partying. Not nannies. Listen, yeah, we was in Nanny Basement. We was partying. You was butt naked. He is no, fucking we, serious. We was partying. I ain't going to even put a name out there because she done got her shit together. Well, you know who we was partying. Like and sex? you sucked them titties. I looked over and said, you nut ass nigga. He lied. You are lying. Y'all better not have been fucking in 92. What? Y'all were young. Y'all were young in 92, What the right? fuck you talk about? 92, I was in high school. You know? Oh, okay. The fuck Having is wrong Having three sons in nanny basements. That's disgusting. Fuck is wrong what would nanny? What would nanny say? Oh, you nanny. Pissed. Stop mentioning nanny name with, with threesomes and shit. Don't do he that. He started it. Stop that. Stop that. That's nanny like, wasn't there, though. But that's like You damn right she wasn't home. You know, Wallow used to be my warmer. 
He would warm the pussy up. Yeah, he get, he get, he get all the bitches warm. Nanny, for me, nanny, for me nanny, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> he didn't listen, fuck listen, though. No, he didn't fuck. Listen. He sucked the titties. He nanny, might listen, eat though. the pussy, but <laughs> you know what's crazy? Then go ahead and hit a bit cause I I beat the you know brakes crazy, off a of bitch. Hey, 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 hey Moni, he you know was my bitch warmer. He was my BW. White girl, you know what's crazy? Is that true? While I yes, I was fucked up one day. I came out of the basement, right? And nanny up there cooking, cause like you come out the basement, the kitchen right there, right? And so. Nanny said some shit to me, and she she let me know she knew what was going on. She's like, she's <laughs> I need like, you down there jerking she, off, boy. No, no, that, listen, she, she knew, right? That fucked my whole joint up. Cause I'll be down there, and I'm thinking I got the shit on low, but I'm thinking she can't hear it up, hear it upstairs, cause she might have a TV on. Having what porn? Yeah, I'll be down there jerking off, right? To the porn. So so I came upstairs one time. She'd be like, <laughs> you be having a lot of fun down there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. oh shit! <laughs> you know the fact that your grandma know that you jerking off. That's like the worst shit in the was world. Was you embarrassed? A little bit, but I just turned it down a little. Uh, have you ever jerked off in a sock? Yeah, the Fifi. You make a Fifi in a it's sock. It's easy, clean, clean up, boop, done. Like, like you can make a Fifi. No, no. One shot no, do. No, no. Mark, Mark, no, you make a Fifi boom. in the no sock. No mess, less mess. The sock is some of the best. Like, you can make a Fifi. I mean, wait, wait, wait. You was about to say the sock mattress. is some of the best pussy you could get. I heard you. You said the sock is some of the. You make a Fifi. The sock is some of the best Wallow, pussy you can I get. I thought a Fifi was the whole mattress. So let me ask you a question. No, no. Let me ask you a question. Out of all the vagina you ever had in your life, where does the sock read? It's right there at the top. Cause Cause it's like, no back it's talk. Like, it's like April and then the sock. No, it's like the sock. Be, the and, sock then, and then the all the rest is, of the bitches. The sock is in the middle between like, the sock is in between like the Fifi and the real thing. Because you know, he ain't really got a lot to judge. Wallow lost his virginity in jail. Uh, How the so, fuck I lose my virginity? It, it did. Oh, the fuck. To nigga, a CO? Listen, oh, I told you he used to walk. Have you ever bitches. had sex with a CO? Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, no, that's real nigga shit right there. Boom. But, but he only had it on the strength of me. Gil, my cousin, he up there. You see that's me some, looking I like. Seen if you got him pussy in jail, that's some real shit. Did he get you pussy in jail? No, he only got some pussy because the CO, the CO knew. He was my cousin. He all so you didn't see line video, it up. We look alike. No, look, look. They look, when I came to see him, listen, when I came to see him, all lying. the seals was like this, and I was in the prime. I had shit. I'm talking about shit was popping out here. Bitches falling out like Michael Jackson for me. You hear me? I, I went up there. <laughs> I went up to the motherfucking prison. All the seals was like this. They was look. They. Soon, soon as I left, they start fucking. Soon as I left, he had a bitch. She was built like a heavy Chevy. You hear me, CO? He ain't get a good looking CO. This bitch built like. Yeah, this bitch was built like a 94 Honda Prelude. Like a lunch lady. Yeah, me. Like a case worker. With on it. This bitch was a heavy <laughs> Chevy, yeah, me. I'm the old comments. I will like say this, Like a female though. security guard. I will guard. say this. Him and my nut-ass brother keep telling people, and the way they say it, they try to put some smut on my name. Oh, you know Wallow lost his virginity in jail. He did that, lose his virginity. Because the way they trying to say it. If they lined up pussy for you in No, I'm not talking about that. No, no, no. That's what, not what they talking no, no, about. No, no, no. The CO, the lady, was the second bitch. Was, I mean, she was the second one that. that so he, the he first hit. one was who? He, see, that's what I'm saying. They put smut on my name. Yeah, you. you they know. trying to say I was a party boy. Wow. Yeah, he was a party. No. He was a boy of the night. Boy yeah. of the night. Look, that's his favorite song. Look, that's his favorite song. The CEO that you fucked, did y'all, did y'all carry on a relationship or was it just a one night stand? No, he hit that's a couple times. How yeah, many he honey he buns a, he did it cost to get Belinda? trying to get a fire. She's still a CEO. Okay, stop that. You trying to get a fire? That's dry snitching. We didn't tap on that yet. Yeah, and you done did some time, so that would be considered snitching. We don't want to hear. I'm a citizen now. Put you're a rat. Don't you're a rat. Who's a snitch? You're a rat. Don't even play with me like that. You're a rat. Don't even play with me like that. <laughs> hey, let's talk about embracing your individualism. You got something to say? Oh, what I got to say is it's like, uh, if you out there, I just want to say this, man, on some real shit. And I always push this because I try to uh, share my story so the young cats out there can learn from my story, don't live my story. If you're not a part of this street shit, I know it's a lot of pressures out there because, let me take my shots off, because just like me, I didn't. I couldn't embrace my individualism because the street game was everything to me, and when I grew up, it was always about getting at a woman, and the women dictated the the women dictate everything out here, especially the street mm-hmm. culture. Because when I was young, I seen the baddest women in my neighborhood fucking with the dudes that was getting money, so I had to be a part of that shit, and I was extremely impressionable. Yeah, my family told me to do right, just like your family might tell you to do right. But the sad thing about it is, your family is outnumbered by the streets. And the, and the influences that come to you now more than ever, your family is definitely outnumbered. You're on social media, you're seeing it around the way, you're seeing it all. So it's like, you got to stay 10 toes down on who you really are and uh, believe in yourself, man. And uh, you really got to embrace your individualism. And it's this feeling inside of you that say, I want to live my life a certain way, but you don't. And you put your ideas and your thoughts and your approach to life to the side in order to be accepted by the masses. Right. And that shit could fuck you up, it fucked me up. That's what. That's the main reason I was in jail because I wanted to be somebody that I wasn't living a facade. And, you know what I mean? And I, you know what I mean? And I ain't want to be 
just Wallace. You know what I mean? I wanted to be wild up. You know what I mean? I wanted to be the street dude. I wanted to get these things so everybody can accept me and everybody could fuck with me because I was basing it off of things. And, I, and at the same time, I had a great personality. I was always a fucking comedian. Uh, I was always funny. You know what I mean? I was always down to earth. It was just, but I, I wanted to add that to me when I didn't have to because everybody that kicked it with me anyway. They fucked with me because I was just always tripping and always the bit. But, but it's like, if you out there, embrace your individualism and don't put how you feel life should be for you to the side in order to be a part of the clique, in order to be lit, in order to be the shit on Instagram and to chase likes. Right. Just do you, man. And I'm right. telling you, if you stay 10 toes down in who you are and what you believe in, everything you want in life, that shit gonna come. You just gotta keep going, man. Talk and, heavy. And stay focused. Let's get into our next sponsor. Oh, let's get into our next sponsor. Listen, Azatope. And what it is is Spire, right? Spire is, listen, now, everybody out there recording music, right? They doing their thing, right? You got to go, you go in the app store, you get to go, once you go to the app store, type in Spire, S-P-I-R-E, right? Now, what this do is, is a, it, listen, it import tracks, right? It's an award-winning uh, audio processor, right? With multi, multi-track recording to make important a beat, layering vocals, collaborating mm. with your producer, mm. and sharing songs easier than ever. And, what it, and this is what it do, it import tracks, right? Intellectually, intellectual, I mean, intelligent sound check, onboard microphone, notes, uh, visual mixer, mm. cloud sharing, mm. publish. I'm talking about you could do everything on there. You could publish, what, listen, you could share finished songs directly to your fans on SoundCloud mm. or create a video file with your own cover photo and post on social media platforms like Instagram, etc. But the whole thing about this, everybody is, you, you keep telling us, I ain't got money to go record, I ain't got money to do this. You could do so much shit if you in there, you're doing your thing, you're trying to put your music out, uh, whatever you're working on, you just want to do a song real quick, you go right, listen, I want you to do this. Go to, listen, go to Izotope, I-Z-O, I-Z-O-T-O-P-E dot com backslash game, download, learn more, right? You download this shit and you learn more and you can also listen, once again, I Z O T O P E dot com slash game. Go there, right? I'm talking about it's a free app available, available, you know, iPhones and all that stuff. You know what I mean? iPads. And I mean, search, I'm talking about the app store. Just search for it, right? But once again, Spire. S P I R E. Spire, man. Isotope, man. Go check it out, man. You're doing your music. This is right for you, man. Go ahead, do it right now. And it's just like that. All right. Let's get into a million dollars worth of game, right? So this girl says, Gilly, my husband watch you all the time. He's your biggest fan. But Gilly, we are having problems. He wants to divorce because he says, I'm on him too much, pressing him. But he doesn't work. He gets abusive when he drinks. Always putting me last unless he wants something. Goes out at night. Doesn't come home till 8 a.m. sometimes. I work hard, cook, clean, take care of him, the kids buy him sneakers, and when I feel hurt, I speak up and he's calling that nagging. Please help him. Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to help you, bitch. Please. Because you super goofy. Like, this what I don't understand. You got women out here that be so smart. They, they got their shit together. You feel what I'm saying? They, they work hard. They got a job. They got great credit. They, they, can you, do, can you do me a favor? Hey, yo! Shut the fuck up out there! Appreciate y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got, they got their shit together, right? And then they go get the goofiest nigga that they could possibly get. They, they, they don't go get a nigga that can match their hustle that can match their ambition, that bring something to the table. They go get the dumbest, wrongest man that they can possibly fucking get. So at the end of the day, that makes you super stupid. <laughs> this a grown ass me, you talk about, I buy his sneaks. I, what you buying them, bitch? Pumas? <laughs> buy his sneaks. What you, what you buying them? Fucking a pair of Air Force Ones? Damn. Like, why would you want a nigga that Y'all grown, y'all married, but you got to buy his sneaks. 
Now the cooking, the cleaning, the you you taking care of the kids. Okay, cooking and cleaning, that's cool. Even a man can help cook and clean, but taking care of the kids, that's a joint effort. That's yeah. not no, oh, I, I'm the only one at work and everybody in the house I provide for as, as a woman. No, 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 no. See, I'm not even no nigga that believe in stay-at-home moms. I believe, just me personally, I'm not knocking nobody's, that, that, but I believe if you a stay-at-home mom, you a lazy bitch. Ooh. That's what I believe. Ruth. How the fuck you going to say that? Uh, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to say that. Because let me say this. If, if a nigga got enough money to say, I want you to be a stay-at-home mom, and you go for that shit, to me, you a lazy bitch. Because why, I, what about my, my dreams, my aspirations, what I want to be in life? Why are you just going to put me in the house watching General Hospital and all my children? Some women are fulfilled by raising children, Gil. Absolutely. Seriously. But let me tell you something. I'm telling you how I right, feel. Right, right. I, feel like the, I feel like a lot of times the only reason why a woman wants to, a man wants a woman to be a stay-at-home mom is because he don't want the woman to be able to provide and do nothing for a fucking self. Right, he want to control He want to control you. He, if, if I got enough money for you to be a stay-at-home mom, you should be trying to open up some type of business. Oh, let me open up, let me open up Gina's Cleaners. I, I agree with that. Let me, let me open, let me do something. You agree with that. At least let me try. I agree with, if I got the bread, say, Dag, babe, give, give me 20, 30 grand, let me start this business. Say that. Right. Don't just post up in the crib all day. Right. Like, like well, Okay, so a stay-at-home mom. Let's inspire each other. Okay. So you don't right. think that's a job either? You what? don't consider that a job? Stay at home being a mom. No. Uh, that's a I'm part of life. Follow. That's I'm not, not a job. Not a job. Listen, that's listen. a part of life. That's something you got to do. Let me explain something to you. That's not I no like job. I like go-getters. Right. You got to be a go-getter for me. Okay. Right. Let's say. You just, you just, okay, hold on. So, so you mean the, the kids, they want from. I'm not going to say you lazy though like uh, him. I'm not saying No, that. I'm saying you're a lazy motherfucker. You got to hear me out. Because at the end of the day, the kids got to go to school for eight hours out of a day. Mm -hmm. The kids got their own jobs that they got to take on. Mm-hmm. So when the kids is taking on their own jobs, what is you doing? What about the women what? that marry, right? They mm -hmm. marry, they have college degrees, careers, and then they stop working to raise them children. And that's a plan from the listen, husband and wife. It, listen. They want no, if that's your to plan, if that's children. your plan, if that's your plan, I respect Some that. Some people don't believe in daycare and shit like that. Some oh. people want cloth diapers, not papers. We want to breastfeed, mm -hmm. not bottle. That's stuff you have to do when you not going to work. Okay. In the time for okay, you right. I agree with let you. Let me yeah, just say that. That's a job. I'm that's a mom. A, though. That's a that's a that's a uh, that's a one year or a year and a half thing mm. breastfeeding. And then that's out the window. <laughs> Anybody that got a four-year-old kid on their titty, they out of pocket. Oh, my. We didn't go Little all the way there. Little motherfucker big. He, We've he, all the way went titty. there. He on your titty. He five and a half. Some people breastfeed till seven, eight. Right, and they a fuck out of pocket. That's a fucking grown little kid. What the fuck? Fuck you whipping your titty out for him. I think it definitely oh, go by the couple. Like, what the like, husband is spending, like, what the wife no is spending. It ain't no age and titty sucking. What you uh, talking no, about? No, 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 no. Breast Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding, oh, not titty, titty sucking. We ain't say nothing about what titty sucking. Fuck, we talk about breastfeeding. Breast At milk. the end of the day, I feel like most men who want their woman to be a stay-at-home wife don't do nothing. I got everything. Don't do it. That's because they want to control them, bro. Yeah. Even if you a stay-at-home if even if you a stay at home mom, we live in an era right now where you could get money from home. For sure. So if you okay, you staying at home, you at home. Okay, cool. What you gonna do? You not gonna come up with something where you could get an online business? Okay, you a stay at home mom. Say if we never get married, and then we break up. Bitch, you're behind the eight ball. Right. Now you gotta go get a job. You fill out an application. You fucking thirty six. But you ain't never had a fucking job. You 36 years old making 12 50 an hour. Because you ain't never had a fucking job. You go to fill out the application. Only thing you can put on that bitch is stay at home, mom. Well, bitch, stay at home. You, you ain't got no fucking work history. Boop. You, so at the end of the day, you got to have, first of all, you mean to tell me, as a woman, your only drive is uh, I take care of my kids. That's something you got to do anyway. That's not no fucking drive. That's not that. That's not no ambition. That's not fucking goals. 
Because you got to take care of your... Like you just said earlier, you don't get no fucking brownie points for being a good dad. That's what you're supposed to do, nigga. We only get brownie points as dad because there's so many raggedy ass dads out here. You don't get no fucking brownie points for that. I do what I'm supposed to do as a father. Because that's what I'm supposed to do as a man. I don't want no brownie points as, for that shit. So... For, oh, I, I take care of the kids. Bitch, you don't get no brownie points for that. That's what they dropped out your pussy. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, so you don't even got no type of ambitions, no types of goals that, okay, let me start an online business and I'm going to do this online. I'm going to still be at home, but I'm going to be working. Like I said, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you don't do nothing but take care of the kids and cook, you're a lazy bitch. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how nobody feel. That's how I feel. That's my thoughts. And you let a nigga trap you the fuck up to where you ain't got nothing going on for your motherfucking self. And the uh, and only, only thing you can base on is if we get a divorce, then I get half. And then you gonna go get half a nigga money and still be a lazy bitch laying up in the crib. And then most of the times when you're a stay-at-home mom, bitch at least better be working out. You in there look, looking like y'all got two refrigerators. I'm the real fucking one appalled. in your ass. Because all you're doing is sitting around eating and watching Basketball Wives. And, and, Get this nigga and, a shot glass. All this goofy ass shit. No, you at least better be in it. All right. All right. You all right? I will say you this. You got it out? I will say you this. You fucking lazy bitches. No, no, I will say this. Damn. I will say this. First of all, two things. Number one. <laughs> You sprayed my motherfucking lenses. Number two. For sure. We just all be, sprayed. Just because your nut ass was hollering don't mean you're right. Fuck I don't agree with God a lot of the damn. shit that you said. Well, you ain't got to agree. But that's, that's your right. You, can, you got your own right to say Fuck that. you. Talk. I don't agree with them fucking glasses and them nasty ass fingerless gloves. This nigga's on But I'll let you be you, nigga. I'll let you embrace your individualism. Even if you is a nut I know ass my nigga. You're definitely again, individual. I'm going to break you the fuck up. Once you are too. You're loud as come up missing again. Man, fuck you and them gloves. I, br I bring my fucking glasses and shit in here. Put them Let on the table. Let me ask you a question. You ever took off them in the bathroom? No, I didn't ever done that. Because they got leather. I think they leather on the bottom. Nut you ass know nigga. what I wanted to tell if you? I all the level up? They might be. You know why women, you know our women that are established, like you said, pick bums? Because women fall in love with potential. Women see what they think you Potential can be. mean you ain't doing shit. Right. But that's what Let, women let me, do. All right, fuck that. Let me break this down. Now you done got him riled up. Let me break this the fuck down. Calm these niggas down. You know what I did? This what I did. This is exactly what I did. I came yeah. home. Came home, right? Came home. Because as adults, we all responsibility for the positions that we put ourselves in life. Right. I came home, living at Nanny Career, right? It was times, Gil told me, damn, why you go? I, you know, because first I came home, jumping out of cars, running down the street, chasing chicks. Yo, come here. Chicks got a fat, you know, because I'm on some old school back in the day shit. Fresh out. He like, cuz, they don't do that no more. I'm like, yo. Yeah, that's and, old. And, and I was shocked on some real shit. I was shocked because I'm like, yo, what, what the fuck? You don't pull to holler at a woman? Instagram. Like you posted this DM, I'm like, and women looking at me like, yeah, Man. bitches running. He like this nigga crazy. To death. <laughs> I remember this one girl start running. I was, it felt me fucked up like I was a stalker. <laughs> shit. You was. So listen, it was. You so so I shit. fall back right and cuz say, damn man, you know you been who you been howling at for a minute. So it was a minute. I was just chilling. I was like, no, nah, cuz. I ain't really hollering. He said, why? I said, man, I live in Nanny House. I got to get my shit together. Right. I got to get a crib. I got to get up out of here because what I'm going to do, like I said, you know, I did bring some you know, people to Nanny Crib, but like- And you, I, and you, you bought that minivan. That, <laughs> but that before, that's before the minivan. This one, I was on foot patrol because I said, I'm doing the right thing. I ain't got no license. Right. I had opportunities to get cars, but I'm, like, I'm doing, I'm getting all my paperwork. That's right, Wallo. So peak game though. This is why I'm saying. That's why I don't get no excuse to no bum ass niggas, no right. cat mic niggas. Because right. you know what I did? I stayed in Nanny House, gay Nanny, and whatever I came through here, Nanny, here, yeah. Nanny, went out there, stacked my paper. I sold t shirts. I did speaking engagements, did advertisement, got my own spot. I mean, eight, what I was paying, $8.95 a month. Mm -hmm. Paying that shit, I'm paying it two times, in, two, two months in advance. Got my car. Everything was rolling. I got my car before I moved out Nanny Crib. Everything that was rolling. Minivan. That's when he was minivan Dan yeah, fucking bitches on back blocks. That, that's another story. That's a whole other story. <laughs> he, hey, nigga ordered Uber Eats to another motherfucking crib. He was parked in front yeah, of you. Yeah. What's up, need baby? Yeah, 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 minivan Dan yeah, fucking bitches on back blocks. Listen, yeah, that was listen, like a hook. But listen, yeah, but listen was. though. He 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 ordered Uber Eats to another motherfucker's address. He was like, nigga. whatever house he is in front of you. What's up, need baby? They in the middle of the minute, back of the minivan watching Netflix on the phone. Yeah, you, hold on, wait. What's that address right there? For, I'm on 4635 Springer Street. Yeah, he ordered this food. They pull up. They walking up to the house. No, he opened it, slide the minivan door. Right here, money. I'm yeah, about to leave. Know how much are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he listen, ordered Uber Eats to but, the minivan. But, but did, did, listen, you know what's so crazy? I'm going to tell you a story about that one time. I parked over there by AR Avenue block. Right? Yeah. 
I didn't listen. I really didn't know where I was at. I knew they was, but because I, I parked on the side, and it was like a tree. Don't you know how they block was right here, and you going up? What's that? Rising? I forget what that is. What's more than something? Like when you coming from the uh, CV, the right. So I'm parked right there, right. <laughs> Shout out to ARF, free ARF in the gang. So listen, I, I'm right here, and it was like a nigga walked down, and he walked back. Now I'm in the joint, right. I'm asshole naked with a t-shirt on. Yeah. So I had to roll the window down, tell him like, no. like, yo, what's up, bro? He's like, oh, that's why. I'm like, yo, what's up? It's one of the, I forget the so, name. So AR was Abbott he alone? about to shoot your teeth caught on yeah, fire in the minivan. Huh? <laughs> Were you alone with your dick out in a t-shirt? <laughs> yo, no, 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 no. He had no business in there. Yo, it was just me here. You didn't out. add the part with <laughs> the girl in there. In the no, 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 no. She was in there with me. Yeah, that's a very important factor to the story. She was in there with me, but the bull, how he cased the minivan out, he wasn't playing no game type dude. So I'm like, hey, <laughs> fuck that. You're not going to shoot this joint up while I'm in here raw. Like, just imagine that shit. Oh, man, asshole, man, shout man, up. Man, shout up, asshole, naked of the tree Damn. in the minivan, butt naked. He raw. Like, that would have been fucked up. Uh -huh. My whole legacy. Like you all want prostitute shit. Heavy so, smut on your name. So, so, the whole thing is, so the whole thing is like, all right, bet. So I'm in that joint, right? And I'm like, damn, this can't be life because I was playing the minivan before I got my crib. Yeah. Man, when I got that crib, I'm telling you, it was an accomplishment for me because you know, I never had my own spot. I'm coming out of jail, I always right. live my, whatever. So so now I got my own spot. I'm paying the 8.95 a month, feel good. I'm just, and I just kept stepping up, getting a new car, kept, just kept stacking my money, stacking my money. And it's like, it don't hard because you know why? I wasn't out here trying to front for everybody on Instagram and be right. lit and buy shit that I couldn't buy. Right. I'm like, no, I, it, to me, I ain't gonna front. I could, I could, like, I could, could have bought all that shit because I was getting money right. off of, you know, merch, all that shit. But it was like, that money looked real good. In the, in the bank account, it right. like, and gain the interest. I'm I'm doing a little stocks. I'm doing a little shit. I'm like, damn, flipping it. So it was like, I don't have no, I don't have no sympathy for no grown ass man out here that's blaming. Especially if you're a grown man and you blaming you not being in position in life because of another man. That's some spicy shit, right? Like if you out there, get yourself in position and stop and, and get up off a motherfucking couch. Stop putting a dinner in the couch, playing a little boo boo. What game. about the guy that do bloom into like? This great guy, cause he had that backbone. He had that girl pouring into him, holding him down. No, 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 how how no, no, long no, no, you gonna no, hold no, the motherfucker no, 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 down? Let me just say they start, this. Listen, let listen. Me just you say got this. people if a that nigga was gonna bloom. He gonna bloom. Anyway. You got people that will help you, and you if got a people that will help you. Flower gonna bloom. It's gonna bloom. It ain't got nothing to do with oh he was with a woman. No, 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 no. no. Fuck all that. But, but Wallow ain't had no bitches, and he bloomed. Wallow <laughs> only fucked six bitches in his whole life, and he bloomed. I can't do it. You know what I mean? And most of them bitches was heavy Chevys. And I got up every day, and I still get up. Listen, think about this. Gil notice if anybody know I'm up, he could call me and I'm I get up every motherfucking day because I gotta provide for me and mine. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? I gotta provide for me and mine on some man shit. I ain't but, wait, oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna make sure wherever I'm at, I'm I'm taking care of shit. I'm not gonna be putting my and, responsibility on nobody of me and, living out here. And let's go back to embracing your individualism. I just wanna say this. Wallow is a prime example of all the youngins out there of embracing your mm -hmm. individualism and knowing who you are. This nigga wears Adidas sweatpants every day. Mm -hmm. And let I'm just going to be honest. I don't want to put your financial business out there, but that nigga could buy Versace shit, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, Givenchy, he, all the big, stupid, dumbass, puffy sneaks that look like pillows that be on you niggas' feet. Mm -hmm. He could buy all of them bitches. Oh, and shout it, out to it, the nigga in Baltimore that thought I only had one. You remember the nigga when we was busting? Yeah. He was like, nigga, I know the motherfucking Dita sweatpants smell like motherfucking ass. Yeah. You always wear it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he, you know I had a no, shitload of Yeah, one thing about him, he go to Marshall's and buy the whole rack. He, no, no, they uh, sent him to me, too. So yeah, it was but, like, but he go to Marshall's uh, and Ross. He go to Marshall's and Ross and go. Oh, yeah, I, I get shit. I get all, shit. all the largest, he go. And then, and then that shit only come to one hundred twenty four dollars. You bought forty four <laughs> pairs of them bitches. It's comfy though. Yeah. But at the end of the day, understand this: <laughs> the nigga got money. He's still driving this, and he still got two cars. He got a twenty ten Prius. Yeah, that's my baby. This and the nigga baby. got a fucking nineteen ninety four cop car. That Crown Vic is really your vehicle? Yes. Wow, sixty dollars to fill that bitch up. You want to ride? You want to ride it? I can tell. Uh, uh, no. But I would say this too, though, and I would say this. No. I would, I'm, let me look at the camera real quick. Please. I'm from a city called Philadelphia, right? Mm -hmm. Glass is off. Talk to me. Mm. Let's go. And uh, when I was doing my thing, Gil would get a, a bunch of calls. Some people we knew, some people we didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know, from from barber shops to hair salons, the street it. corners. Damn, old heads and nut. This he nigga's lost a nut. It. He burnt out, bro. Dude's a weirdo. Yeah, right. <laughs> you is a weirdo, though. Look at it. Oh, hold on. Who the working? fuck laugh like a like a like a like a, like a, like a like you just see him just laugh like an old Asian flick. Hold up, <laughs> like here's Ray say. 
Hold Y'all up. thought I was a weirdo. I want to say this, though. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo. I want to say this, though. But I am a weirdo. When you was laughing, I was laughing right along with you. Mm-hmm. But I was laughing to Bank of America. Mm. <laughs> That's the evil oh, so, laugh. Hey, on, so what laugh. you want to say? <laughs> while, you, while they was laughing, you were splashing all in the money, huh? I was laughing like a motherfucker, too. Huh. I was loving it because you know what I knew? I knew that y'all ain't know what the fuck was going on, and I ain't had to worry about nobody jumping on my motherfucking shit. You dig right. what I'm saying? You ain't had to worry about nobody riding your boot, huh? You know, you, you always going to have people to try to emulate what you got going on because we come from the, you know, the ghetto where everybody do what everybody do, but I ain't everybody. Mm. And mm. I see a lot of niggas running around trying to act like they motivational speakers since about you me. came home. One thing, about, all one thing about me, I stood 10 toes down for me. I helped a lot of motherfuckers in Philadelphia County, from That's businesses to rappers to what's the name, mm -hmm. and I still help, and I got a lot of help coming down the pike for a lot of people, man, especially after this uh, thing go over. But I'm gonna just tell this. When they laughing at you, laugh too. Laugh right along with them. That's right. Because they don't understand how great you are. We laugh to the bank. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with them. PNC, Wells Fargo, it was a lot of mm. banks. We, mm, we laugh and they <laughs> I laugh too. How, wait, how you do the demon laugh? <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, before I go, I want to tap into stories from the cell. Shout out to June from Pittsburgh, right? And this is the reason I never seen the wire. Dallas, the pink pilots. I used to work at the night bake shop, right? Mm. I was a cook, right? I used to bake bread, but uh, this boy really put me down with creating a platter in jail. Uh, he taught me how to oven fry. Shout out to RZA, shout out to uh, Hassan Ali, everybody that was down there, Feek, everybody that you was gonna down there. You ain't gonna shout out Ricky? Who the fuck was Ricky? Ricky Minaj. Ricky Minaj was working at the night big shop with us. Oh, okay. But at, the reason I say I didn't see The Wire because they played The Wire every night that I went on, on BET, like the rerun, and I never got a chance to see it. Still, I still didn't watch it. But, but, but shout out to him. This boy June, right, I want to give a shout out to him. He taught me how to, Shout out to Big Mark Abdullah too, Mills on Wheels. All right, nigga, but let me just tell you, so you ain't gonna shout the whole fucking prison out, man. No, no, these three dollars. No, no, these, these most of these dudes home. But listen, so June, he taught me how to oven fry, right? We used to take that imitation crab meat, right? He told me, he said, no, you can make, you can make uh, crab sticks out of it. I said, how? Take the imitation crab meat, I chop it up, and use a, you know, flour, some eggs, throw a little, dip it in a little grease, throw it in the oven on the sheet pans, let that thing come. Make that dirty rice on the side. Chop the onions, green peppers, and all that in the kettle. Soy sauce. Make the dirty rice. Make the baked macaroni and cheese or the sweet potato fluff. And then and we used to have them platters. Eh? You know, we used to mostly do the fried fish on Friday nights so or Saturday morning running around the yard selling them platters, right? And the reason I talk about platters is You were selling because, platters in the yard? Yeah, yeah. I was selling platters in the yard. And it was an old head name. Anybody. So you, you, you was, what would be the jail version for, for Uber Eats? You was penitentiary eats? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, penitentiary so, platters. So, so the reason I say that because everybody's selling platters, and me and my man Ethan, we was talking about a uh, old head named uh, Skinner Dog out of Chester, right? Skinner Dog was an old head, right? He used to sell platters out of cell. He was a fucking legend. That's all I'm gonna say. This dude was a legend. Anybody that was skinny dog? No, no, no skin is dog. No, no, skin, Skinner Dog. Skinner, Skinner Dog. Dogs. Skinner Dog. This is OG. Sounds pornish. No, no, he's out of Super Chester. Pornish. Shout out to Skinner Dog out of Gay Chester, right? Pornish. No, no, he wasn't on that. So Skinner Dog, you smoke cigars. I hate and, Skinner and play, Dogs and play, myself. And play the tickets. But he had some unfucking believable platters. I'm talking about J Block, Dallas Penitentiary. Anybody that was on J Block during my era and my time, you know these platters was all that. But I was a really a platter pusher in jail. I, you know, I moved a platter. Because I see everybody I see everybody selling platters, and that's a good way to get your bank roll up out here. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to go get you some food. Make sure your preparation is right and it look good when you're taking them pictures you're Don't posting you on Instagram. Platters, right? I definitely do sell platters, and they're fucking excellent. No, how much do platters cost? For 15 bucks, two sides, beef ribs, fried chicken, turkey wings, baked macaroni and cheese, yams, and my famous seafood salad. Why is it so famous? What the fuck made you? Because I use large shrimp and your grandmother used small shrimp. Them, them large shrimp might be fake. No, and I use real crab meat in the can, not imitation. How many, like pl that shit how many platters? How many platters you said? Um, probably like 7,500, something like that. A week? No, one, in a day. In a day? Yeah. I start God, at like damn. 7, I go to like trapping. 3 a.m. 7,500 platters. I ain't say 7,500. And where can they find your platters at? Where can they get you? I'm in the Newcastle area. I'm in Delaware. Come get a platter. Get you a Pussy Pep Ready t-shirt. Mm. Subscribe to me and Wallow OnlyFans. Oh, I ain't got, I ain't got no OnlyFans. Let me ask you a question. She's trying to pimp me. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. question. If they got money for platters, they get platters. Yeah. They got money for get your pussy. What's it? Pussy Pep Ready or pussy Pep Ready hoodies and t-shirts. If they got enough money, could they get some pussy? 
No, no, no. Hold on, not not yet. Stop just trying just to pit me. She's trying to pit me. She's trying to put me. I'm thinking me a, about she's it. She's trying to make me a boy tonight. I'm not going for that. I'm Everybody see how much these girls making. Y'all all thought about making Andrew fans, especially him. Yeah. No, yeah, uh, you could be on there freestyling. Let me tell you something. You could rap. Let me tell you something. No big deal. I get on there with some goddamn oil on. I oil. I can jump in the shower, oil this thing up. And get in and preppy, <laughs> my motherfucking joint go go get the ring. The ring Just the, know you got a preppy. Calling, Bitch, you ain't been on Gilly All Fans page. Only fan. Th- you have to prep though. He you can't just go live. He talk a lot bitch. of shit. He talk a lot of shit. <laughs> I, I, I don't just, you want to be a call too? I'm glad I'm back, guys. What is wrong with you, nigga? Right I there. called platter, I, platter, platters right there. Oh, that's, that's, uh, y'all bitches kept that a secret. I ain't know y'all was making that much money frying chicken. Frying chicken. She made a lot. She made a bag. Made a couple made dollars. A made a couple dollars. The platter pushers. Platters. I got the, the, fired. I had to fry they, they, chicken. They put out a rap group called <laughs> Platter Pushers. A girl and a guy rap group, Platter Pushers. Hey, listen, man. We appreciate. If you y'all. saw me walking down the street, what would you think? Don't no no bullshit. None. Is, if you saw me walking down the street, I was like, "How you doing, sister? Would you Would you talk to a dude that looked like me? Fuck no. Why Why wouldn't you? Because you're you got handsome, Oakley's on. It's your fucking glasses. It's bad. You got Oakley's on and you, you look like Detective Dickhead. Cop. Yeah. Yeah, you look like DDH. When you put them on, your lips get smaller like a white man. You start looking like a white cop. Mm-hmm. Take them shits off. You, you, you look like Detective Dickhead. You do. April like that? That look with them fucking gloves? She loves it. That's some kinky I'm gonna shit. I'm going to try it with these. You look like you about to put your bus on the your bike on the front of the bus. First of all, First of all, he come out the shower and be talking, get the handcuffs, baby, put your glasses on. Nigga, be, he be butt naked with baby powder on his chest. April make him get the handcuffs, get the handcuffs. Well, who wears the handcuffs? You I do. She the... cuffed me to the bed. What She's the, the officer. Fuck. Freeze! Uh, what I do, officer? Go ahead, cuff. You going to cuff me? You going to cuff Does me? Does she huh? kick your foot so, spread so, on? No, no, she don't. No, she don't. That's yes, the shit you went to. Yes, That's some kinky shit. You going to cuff me? Yes, she do. And she cuff him laying on his stomach. <laughs> get the <laughs> She cuff him, he be laying on his stomach. You gonna cuff me? You gonna cuff me? Legs wide open, legs spread open, he laying on his stomach. Oh my god. You gonna get it from the back? You gonna, you, gonna, you gonna get it from the back? Him. Don't he forget to get me. the crack if you get it from the Yeah, he I know what you're going on. Officer John. No Jackson. judgment, Wallow. No, you're happy. You're happy. You see how happy you, happy you got? You're happy. Who the fuck screams out that loud about getting cuffed? You gonna cuff me? <laughs> Lock me up. <laughs> you gonna cuff me? Like, who the fuck is that happy about getting oh put in handcuffs? Hey, listen, man. I want to give a shout out to everybody who supports us, man, and makes us the number one music podcast. Subscribe, rate, review on Apple. But most importantly, man, subscribe, man. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. There's nothing for you to push that link in our bio and push that subscribe and show us that you're supporting us. It means everything to us. Y'all make us the number one music podcast in the country each and every week. Don't call me white girl, but she look like a white girl. Mm-hmm. I'm back, Jessica Rabbit. Rhymes. Yeah, you're back until you're late again. Then you're gone again. I can't. But we love you. You understand? No, don't I'm pay, just saying. Don't. The late days are. <laughs> fuck over. what you talking about. I run shit. Don't worry All about right. it. I came back. Who the fuck gave you that call? I'm it. He called me. Little Thank you. He, you. he called. Call. We I'm FaceTime. We had a FaceTime, but he called. He was a called. liar, motherfucker. We FaceTime. He called to say, "Come back today." No, we talked, no, no, no. and you said, wait, "Bitch, wait. I'm gonna call you back." No, no, no. Let me holler at my cousin. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. When did he FaceTime you? He didn't FaceTime me. You FaceTime me. He called my manager. When did he call? Friday. Was that Thursday? Before y'all was on live, right? No. Thank no. you. Wait a minute. Thank hey, you. wait, so wait, 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 wait. Don't make me backslap He called before that live that no, you jumped on. Like well, she really did. He called before the live. He did. He did. You made my face real on that live. Don't come on them lives like that. You got that blue check. We not used to that on my side. We don't got blue checks on my side. You know goddamn well. He come to live. Everybody gilling here, gilling here. I'm like, fuck that. We see this nigga. I came and then you lied. I wasn't late every time. I was not late to every episode. I was late to almost every episode. Hey, Chris, you are and manager. I, Chris, wait, hold on. Wait, okay, okay. wait, he's off camera. Let's Chris, go, let's you're go. her manager. What fucking time was that? Motherfucker, you gonna drop the That's the truth. Was that right? I came before you. Was that a fucking lie? I came before you. So every episode, late. You was late. Thank you. Thank you. Every fucking episode. I was late the first time. Oh my God, I came before you. Oh, you was late the first time. You was late the first time. You was late the first time. The second no, you she was late again, nigga. He said Not the car the accident. Second time. He said the car accident the in the pandemic, time. Big, nigga. One time I got here before Gilly. First of no, all, no, 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 the no, first no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, wait, 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 wait. God damn it! If you get here before me, that don't mean you ain't late. 
I gotta go. I gotta go stop at the fucking bank. I got shit. Yes, I gotta you do. do. Gotta you stop at the bank. That's right. You see when I come in this motherfucker, Alicia. And you, yeah, I test you, then I bless you. All right. But did so, you just snitch on Chris? Listen to what I'm did you saying. Just, was that a snitch? I don't do Chris no snitching. Liar. You it's a quarantine. A He's a liar. It's a quarantine. No, Chris holds you the fuck down. No, yeah. I want everybody. Chris about you. As yeah, he lied like a motherfucker. Everybody should take this as a lesson learned because at the end of the day, whether I was late to every episode or almost every episode, if I would have never been late, it would it couldn't have happened. You wouldn't be able to say anything. But one thing I want to clear up right now check what? that motherfucker bitch. you said i was late but then you also added unprofessional take that shit back yeah yeah take please, it back please. no 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 because no, i no. was never unprofessional no, 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 i was late no, no, that's no, like saying no, you was late and tardy wait, wait hold the fuck up being late is unprofessional but if you say she was late and unprofessional that's giving people the impression that it's worse like i'm here trying to grab your asses no, or digging out your wallets said, or begging for I weed i said you was late it un that's unprofessional you did beg for a black amount I ain't uh, never you begged you for no goddamn hold on. I don't, I, I'm not saying me. Hold I don't on. Let me ask you a question. If you work for the white man mm -hmm. and you show up late, mm -hmm. is that not unprofessional? Right. Why but okay. Okay. that white man, oh, when no, he no, writes no, you no, up, no, 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 is he no, going to no. use unprofessional? You know what the no, fuck no, no, I'm no, talking no, about. No, no, Y'all know wait. what I'm talking about. No, no, no. About. You was late every fucking time. And then let's be for real. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. We took the lateness. But then when you call, your fucking manager call, because he threw you the fuck under the bus too. You know I don't hold no motherfucking punches. Snitch. When, when, you, when your fucking manager call <laughs> at damn near 1230 at night. Attempting to talk get about, an wait, hour no, 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 or two. No, talking about, yeah, Gil, with the sad fucking voice on. Not the sad voice. Yeah, yeah Gil, uh, she ain't going to be able to be there tomorrow. Can we push it back? Bad. Fuck no, we no. can't push shit back. I would have been there. If you said no, she got to be here. I, I told there. her no. I told, if I, I, would, I would have no. been there. I told that nigga no, you didn't come. So I don't want to hear if, if he would have said no. No, you told him the bitch is fired. You fucking right. Okay, so I'ma come. Because you were supposed to be here to fuck one time. No, 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 no. I ain't fired. I'm here, nigga. It was a miscommunication. No, all right. No, no, no. Ain't no miscommunication. I'm apologize to the Your fans. I know you missed said me. you couldn't make it. That ain't no miscommunicating in that. I could have I love you. That's why we brought your ass back. You love me? A little bit. We love you, white girl. I love oh, the queen nice. of the mile. Nothing better than a cool, Who's more crisp, of a black Who's more of a dickhead, me and him? I don't know. Y'all like even Steven. Almost. How the fuck you, we even? You sneaky dickhead. Dang he out and out dickhead. See, 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 and I'd rather see, listen, my dickhead in listen, my face. Listen, that's the, For real. That's the difference. Listen, He's the difference sneaky is, the He's difference is dickhead. we talk about everything. I'm just the nigga that say it. Yeah, and then he play it cool. For sure. That's how you feel, Gil? Because he definitely called and said, let me call Wallow, see how he <laughs> no, feel. This no, is business look, too. He be like this. I just go on the rant and he be sitting back. But he like it. He here for it. Then he be like. Somebody got to be the goon. Somebody got to be nice guy. Good cop, no, bad no, cop. I'm Either way, you're both cops. Shit. Boom, we out. The How out. the fuck we both cops? <laughs> fuck out here. Hey, no, hey, he's more this of a dickhead. This is Ben Osborne for Game I'm going to end it on that before I kick you in the center of your ass. This is Ben Osborne for Game. I appreciate y'all for tapping in each and every week. The number one man, the number one music podcast in the country. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. I go by the name of Gilly the Kid. This is Don't Call a White Girl. This is Wallow 267 and it's just like that. Right!